let's talk about the ingredients. 1.3 kilo of onion, cut all the same size approximately, teaspoon of salt, large bowl, separate all the layers by hand. They're going to be fried until crispy with some sunflower oil. You can use any oil you want. 120 gram of ginger and garlic paste, 60% ginger, eight really ripe tomatoes, cut. This is going to make it really tasty and interesting. 100 gram of melon seed, 50 gram of cashew, and they have been boiled down so they're nice and soft. 250 gram knobs of butter. One is essentially oil that we're going to be uh, frying the whole spices in, and the remaining knob is for the gravy to give it a nice glossy sheen, so plenty of flavour. A bunch of coriander, just the stalks though, so I've just cut the bottom off. That's where the flavour is. <clears throat> Whole spices, one tablespoon of cumin, about two teaspoons of uh, mace, as you can see there. One star anise, two black cardamom, five cloves, two one and a half inch cassia bark sticks, about three or four maybe five tej petta, depending on the size, they're cinnamon leaves, Indian bay leaves, one sprig of curry leaves to give it a really unique, luxurious taste, powdered spices, <coughs> excuse me, one tablespoon of turmeric, two tablespoons of Kashmiri chili powder, the same quantity of coriander seed, and one teaspoon of salt, because we've already got some salt in the melon seed and the cashew and also the onions. It's better to add salt when we actually make the curry to get it exactly the way we want it. And I'm going to add the same quantity of Kitchen King, which is a really, really popular brand that's going to give this gravy a nice authentic flavour. So first of all, heat up a suitably sized pan. Don't use a non-stick pan. I'm adding around 100 millilitres of oil. We're not going to use all that oil, don't worry. There'll be some remaining. Heat that up. Next, we don't need to get the oil really hot because we need to mix it because this is slow cooking. I'm adding the onion. And we're going to come back in around maybe 25 minutes, quite a high heat, lower towards the end, adding water if anything starts to stick to get that caramelisation off. And just slowly fry these onions down until they're really golden. We'll come back once that happens. So that's uh, what the onions should look like after about 25 minutes. You need to keep stirring, especially towards the end, to stop any bits burning. And if you haven't cut your onions up uh, uniformed, you'll know why you should. If uh, any of them don't cook evenly, will start to burn. It's inevitable that some are. Well, that's fine. So next it's time to drain all the juices from those onions. It's a combination of oil and juice. Do keep the oil to make your curries. It's absolutely amazing seasoned oil. So let that dry and cool it down and we're going to blend that with the melon seed and the cashew nuts and we're going to make a really smooth paste. So next I did forget one ingredient flame on. So we've got some kasuri mati here or fenugreek leaf. I'm just going to heat the pan briefly because I want it to be nice and dry because I'm going to scrunch it into a really quite fine powder. I'm not going to use all of that. I'm doing some for another recipe but we want about two two quite heaped teaspo uh, tablespoons of this as well to give it um, an amazing um, fenugreek taste. So I'm just going to heat that up, scrunch it up and we'll add that to the sauce shortly. So once it's been heated, it's nice and dry. Get rid of all the little twigs, discard any of the chaff. And there you go, that's how to get your metty powder. So next, clean your pan, 50 gram of butter. Let it come to a heat. The butter is nice and hot now. And by the way, this is what's been drained off those onions. So we didn't use all that oil at all. And there's some onion juice. I'm going to be making a curry with this shortly. So next it's time to add all those whole spices. Two cardamoms, one star anise, two sticks of cassia, five cloves, three or four tajpata, 
the mace and the cumin. So give that a good sizzle off and you want to get as much flavour into the oil as possible. Minute quick tip when you're seasoning, seasoning oil is to tilt the pan a bit and that smells absolutely great. That's been about a minute. Next we're going to do or add the ginger and garlic paste. Give that a good stir immediately. So you need to sizzle the raw flavour off. Sizzling away nicely. Next we can add those curry leaves. Give those a stir. And our ginger and garlic is nice and toasted, but definitely not burnt. Now it's time to add the powdered spices, the turmeric, the coriander, the salt and the chilli powder and we want about two tablespoons roughly of Kitchen King and we're going to add a little bit of water I always use spring water just to give it a good stir and mix everything well together so once everything's had a good mix you need it to sizzle and you should infuse all those ingredients with those spices cook their raw flavour out so you need to sit in that for about a minute. How deep? So there we go, we've got our base. Next, it's time to add all those tomatoes. Mix well. We can also add our coriander stalk now. Mix that in. And that's all at a good temperature. Now I'm going to add about 250 millilitres of water and we need to reduce that until the tomato starts to disintegrate and everything looks really like a nice curry. We'll come back in perhaps 15 minutes. Whoops, I nearly had, I forgot to include the kasuri mati. A small handful, nice and powdered and you're going to smell that aroma instantly. So after our 15 minutes, use plenty of water. If it dries out, use some more water. That's what it looks like. You can just see the skins of the tomato and everything's on a nice high temperature. And it's all come together nice. Make sure nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan. I don't know if you can see that. Now what I thought was amazing, and I always do when I do this, can you see this? This is a little bowl, here's the size of my hand. That's what 1.2 or 1.3 kilo of onions looks like. So that's going to be added to the sauce now. So to blend the onions, use as much water as you need, and the same with the cashew and the melon that's going in as well. So I'll leave the camera roll so you can enjoy all that. Hopefully as much as I am. So we're going to need some water again. So that's the two pastes. We're just going to give that a nice stir. And that is one rich gravy. We're not quite ready yet. We'll come back once that's stirred. So you can see the drastically changed colour. I'm adding about 600 millilitres of water just to prolong the cooking and just let that all marry together so you can taste one taste. And we're just going to bring that to the boil. It will start to darken. As that happens, we'll come back in perhaps 10 minutes. So make sure you stir it regularly in with the butter. So this isn't your average Tuesday night curry sauce. This is fit for the Royal Palace, truly. Just going to let that all come to a nice simmer, reduce slightly. And we're going to add the finishing touch shortly. It's really boiling now, so I'm going to turn it off. It'll thicken up slightly as it cools down. And that next we're going to sieve it. Get all those 
whole spices out and the coriander stalk and the tomato skin. So I allowed it to cool, filtered it in a sieve. What we have is just all the bits and bobs that we don't want in the gravy, the whole spices etc. So there's our finished gravy ready to make curries of superior quality. So thank you very much for watching. Do give this video a big thumbs up.